If you're a good follower of the Chosen cast, and of course, if you watched my previous videos on the subject, you probably know by now that Jonathan Rumi is a devout Catholic, Shahar Isaac and Noah James are Jewish, and Luke Dimian is a Coptic Orthodox. Paris Patel grew up Hindu and seems to be a cultural Hindu for now, participating in the cultural practices of his parents' religion. But what about all the other names of the Chosen Season 5 cast that play small yet important characters like Sean, who portrays Shumuel or Shireen who plays Herodias. Let's see who they believe in. Catherine Lidstone Playing the role of Mary of Bethany, Catherine was truly one of the stars of season 4 with her incredibly moving scenes. But Catherine failed at her first audition for the chosen season 2 despite her great acting chops. But then, thankfully, she was chosen for the role of Mary. And this show is not Catherine's only faith-based project. Recently, she also starred in 47 Days with Jesus alongside Yoshi Barigas. In various interviews, Catherine revealed that she has found faith in her adult life. I found faith through just a series of events that I think God ordained. I just think a lot of things happened outside of my own design to recall me back. I'm very grateful. Apparently, Catherine started to attend the church of her former agent and took a two-year course on the Bible. I think that course is really what changed my life. I had never read the full Bible before that, and reading it gives you just a wonderful perspective of life on this earth that I never would have had otherwise. Sophia Bloom well, as you know, there is no Mary without Martha, so let's talk about Sophia, who has been giving life to the role of Martha on the show. Sophia is actually trained in classics and has been all over the country participating in Shakespearean productions. She is also a director and describes herself as a dog mom and pizza wife. Unfortunately, Sophia is not open about her beliefs as her on-screen sister, so I'm not sure if she currently practices any set of religious beliefs. Dimitrios Troy the Lazarus family wouldn't be whole without the man, the legend himself. Did you know that Demetrios and Jonathan have been friends long before The Chosen? Well, just like Jonathan, he's a Christian and has been involved in many faith-based projects over the years. While acknowledging his own faith, the actor says not everybody is of faith on the show and that's okay and I couldn't agree more. Janice Dardaris Seeing this name in a video about season 5 may either shock you or make you happy, but let me give you the good news. Janice Janice was on set for the filming and she even shared a picture in her costume but later deleted it. I guess the show's team wanted to keep her return a secret and asked her to remove the picture from social media. As for her beliefs, a few years ago Janice gave an interview where she talked about how she believes in karma. There is such a thing as karma. I learned that you do wrong things and it will come back to you. Karma is a real thing. And the interviewer calls her a Buddhist two times but I'm not sure if this is a joke since the concept of karma is one of the fundamentals of Buddhism or if Janice is really a Buddhist. Let me know if you have more info. Eric Avari So, if Janice is back on set, shouldn't Eric be too? I think this is a very logical interpretation in the right direction. Why would we see Zohara without her husband, Nicodemus, considering one is more important than the other? Anyway, Eric was born into a Zoroastrian family and if you didn't know, Zoroastrianism is one of the world's oldest religions with its roots going back to ancient Persia. It's not known for certain if Eric practices Zoroastrianism today. Sean Sharma Let us also look at some members of the Sanhedrin whose plans to arrest and kill Jesus will be in full motion in season 5. Not only is he great as Shumuel, but it turns out it was Sean who helped Catherine Lidstone get her first audition for The Chosen. They are close friends in real life, who would have thought? A few months ago, Sean did a Q&A on The Chosen subreddit and answered fan questions. In one of his replies, he said this, I was raised Hindu but was born again in high school. I am private about my faith, but I'm a follower of the teachings of Jesus. Ivan Hasso now, let's look at the actor who plays my favorite Pharisee, Yusuf. By now, you must have all heard about the theories that Yusuf is actually Joseph of Arimathea, the person who assumed responsibility for the burial of Jesus after his crucifixion. I cannot wait to watch Yusuf finally join the good side in season 5. I wish I had known more about Yvonne, but he keeps his life very private and I haven't seen him talk about his faith online, so that's that. Richard Fancy I cannot even begin to tell you how much Richard's character scares me and it feels really weird as someone who watched Seinfeld three times from start to finish. Top of the muffin to you. Elaine! 
Mr. Lippin? There's something so incredible in the way Richard talks as Caiaphas and it blows me away every time. When he was first introduced as Caiaphas, the chosen crew did an interview with Richard where he revealed he's a secular Jew and longtime fan of the show. Were you a fan of the chosen before you came on? Yes, I was. I am a secular Jew. When Jesus reveals himself to Lilith, thus says the Lord who created you. I actually burst into tears out of total surprise. I had no idea where that came from. I've watched every episode. Andrew James Allen. Speaking of bad guys, I decided Pilot and the actor who plays them should be in this video as well. I have been seeing a lot of people on social media discussing whether or not Andrew is homosexual, but I don't think that's a conversation we should be having. Andrew does not seem to be a believer though, at least he doesn't share anything about it. Sarah J. Bartholomew Sarah, portraying Pilot's wife, Claudia, should be in the conversation as well. Sarah is a professional dancer and also has a music career on the side. There is no info about her religious beliefs as they seem to be non-existent. Paul Ben Victor Paul's character Herod was one of the main villains of season 4 and he will continue to be in season 5. You may know Paul from shows like The Wire and Entourage. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Paul was raised in a Jewish family but it's not clear whether he practices it still as an adult. Shireen Khan There's no Herod without Herodias so I had to mention Shireen as well. If you didn't know, Shireen recently appeared in The Promised Land, a Christian comedy show. She's an Indian American who doesn't talk much about her beliefs, I guess she wants them to remain private. If you want to find out about the religious beliefs of other cast members, check out this video.